Bayonetta's gunning for a battle, ladies and gentlemen, and you could say she's pissed all her combos were nerfed. From her neutral jabs and tilts to her aerials and specials, this Umber Witch's combos are executed in the same fashion as her second outing. She can also craft wicked weaves to summon her pack pal Madam Butterfly to crush the competition, and extend her combos with gunfire, just like in her titles. Bayonetta's afterburner kick and heel slide function the same as their source, and Witch Time bolstered by Bat Within allows her to defend against damage. Witch Twist faithfully captures its origins too, and her final smash brings forth Gamora if the climax gauge is successfully filled. Her hairy outfits alternate between her first two appearances, and she wields either Scarborough Fair or Love is Blue depending on which style she's flaunting in the field. Anarchy reigns with two of those classic colour schemes, while Jeanne and Platinum Trophies are referenced with her more modern designs. With a bevy of combos and a well-combed wardrobe, you can say Bayonetta's presence is always... Lumen. What is up everyone, I'm Swan Soda, and if you somehow enjoyed listening to my voice for the last 60 seconds, then why not subscribe to my channel? But if you enjoyed the last 60 seconds for the much more tolerable flashy editing and amazing script work, then I recommend you like the video and subscribe to Schmidt Times. Seriously, do it.